The show is about 2003 Iraq, and it's a period piece. Baghdad Central follows the story of Inspector Kafaji, who is an Iraqi police inspector who has been summarily fired like all of the Iraqi police officers after the U.S. invasion. Do you think there will be war? I hope not. Not until I've eaten at least. The heart of the show is this family and this family that's been disbanded. He lost his wife to cancer. He lost his eldest son due to war. So Khafaji first shows up at the Green Zone checkpoint with his daughter, Muruj. You know, Muruj has a very serious illness. I mean, she really does need dialysis badly. I will work for them for as long as it takes to make you well. So he sends his other daughter to live with her aunt and uncle, and she goes missing. And that's where we start our story. I'm not her father. Nadal, I know you're not her father. I am her father. In accepting the job to work for Temple and to work within the Green Zone, he's really kind of put in, a, in a, a, between a rock and a hard place. I was really excited to see that it was a perspective that I'd never seen before. I've seen the American perspective of the Iraq War. I've seen the British perspective of the, uh, of the Iraq War. But we really haven't seen it from the Iraqis. It's an opportunity to tell a story that's been, to a certain extent, suppressed, to share in an exciting, thrilling way. And in something like this, which is deeply political, it's all about what you don't see. It's all about the hidden currents. And so you have all these perspectives coming together, telling just a great, compelling story with a really surprising and exciting plot. It's a father finding his daughters and reconnecting. And that theme is something I think that everybody can relate to. of glorious Iraq. I said let them come. The Americans. My name is Walid Zaitar and I play Mahsen Khadr al-Khafaji in Baghdad Central. Mahsan Khadr al-Khafaji used to work under Saddam's regime and he was in the Mukhabarat, like the Secret Service. And he basically had a very difficult life in terms of what was happening and the effects of the war, politically but also personally. <laughs> He's living at home with his two daughters, one of which is ill and she uh, needs dialysis. And then the other daughter goes missing. And that's where we start the story. It will mean change. It all needs to change. So the relationship he has with Mruj is very interesting. Mruj has a very serious illness. I mean, she really does need dialysis badly. He's really kind of put in, a, in a, a, between a, you know, a rock and a hard place in terms of accepting this position to work within the green zone because that means his daughter gets treatment that's urgently needed. I believe that men like you, Inspector, are Iraq's future. Khafaji's relationship with Sosan is a very loving relationship, but it's a, it's a relationship where the communication isn't as easy. He sees in her his strengths, but he also sees in her his flaws. And the passion, the temper, but also the courage is really a beautiful thing that he sees in Sosan. It, it, it makes him proud, but at the same time, it, it also scares him. She is young and impressionable. Where is this free Iraq? Show me. Look inside yourself. It's a father finding his daughters and reconnecting. And that theme is something I think that everybody can relate to. 
love of country, love of family, and where do those two kind of conflict with each other and where do they contradict each other. And where Khafaji is such a, a character where people can relate to is he really does choose the, the human choice and he chooses something based on the common humanity of, of everybody. Hi, I'm Corey Stoll, and I play Captain John Perotti of the U.S. Military Police. True story, it's my boys that stand guard over Baghdad Central Police Station, and it's my boys who deal with all the shit that comes through the door. He is just about doing a job in keeping his men safe and is really not interested in anything uh, more uh, ideological or idealistic beyond that. Inspector Kafaji, meet Captain Parodi, military police. Pleasure is all his. Inspector Kafaji. When my character first meets Kafaji, he's completely uh, dismissive of the idea of, of bringing back uh, Iraqi uh, inspectors. I'm gonna go through the charade of pretending that you're involved here. How do you want to do this? Ignore the bullshit. This will become an Iraqi police-led investigation. Captain John Perotti, who is very skeptical of Kafaji, slowly realizes Kafaji is the, the side to be on, the horse to bet on. They team up in a surprising way. Everybody out! Everybody! A lot of the journey for Parodi throughout the series is one of letting go of his real black and white view of, of how to do his job and accepting Kafaji. On your way, Inspector. You'll be needing my help to talk to the driver. Parodi and uh, Temple, played by Bertie Carvel, it's a great relationship because they, they really represent their sides to a T. Fuck off, Parodi. Oh, that's fuck off, Captain Parodi. They really have such a delicious uh, mutual contempt. <laughs> so every time the, the, the two are in a room together, they cannot help but uh, tear each other down. You think he's a dick too, right? What do you think of Temple, asshole or dick? My character represents the, the, the American side of the story. The Temple's character represents the, the, the British side of the story. Frank. Your man here is spending the day with me. Inspector Kafaji has work to do. For me, yes. No, at his desk. He... Here I am believing we're all on the same team. But nobody has the whole story. And it takes these perspectives to really get a clear sense of, of what this world is. Are you sure you want to do this, Maruj? You're feeling well enough. Baba, yes, for the tenth and last time. Stop stressing. My name is Jelaina Mir, and I'm playing the role of Maruj in Baghdad Central. You look beautiful today. I'm worried he can see that too. Of course he can see it. He's not blind. Maruj is the personification of bravery. She's a brave girl, you know. Uh, she is suffering from kidney failure, and at no point does she use that to gain sympathy. You don't have to stay, Baba. I want to stay. They have food. You've got Sousan, the older um, sister, who tends to be kind of more the rebellious of nature. She's more extroverted. And then you've got the Khafaji, who's just uh, a father. Do you think there will be war? I hope not. Not until I've eaten, at least. Rouge is the more introverted, she's more of the reader, she's more of the quieter one. Uh, the relationship between um, Rouge and her father is, is one of intrigue, right? Uh, things are quite flipped with these two. You're supposed to be fasting. I'll make just half a cup. And we see that dynamic, you know, Kafaji comes to her with all his worries and he tells her things that, you know, usually dads would kind of try and safeguard their kids from. So really it's a flip. Uh, she is the kind of the mother or somehow. Stay away from the balcony. They will see you with your tea. The Imam or the Americans? God. <laughs> She's this 18-year-old 
that's filled with an old soul, that's filled with so much wisdom. We can go back if you want to, Baba. No. We've come this far. So Marouge is your selfless soldier in this. She's the underdog. She's the, the person that grows on you. She really does. Uh, and she teaches you a lot about human nature and humanity.